So, Epic Games gave away Doom 64 for free last week, so I'm sure a lot of new players sold their soul to Epic and got to experience a whole new Doom game. Doom 64 is pretty cool. It's got a new coat of paint, new music and sound effects, new levels, new mechanics, and a new weapon. I'm sure you've all heard of the elusive Unmaker. It can mode on cyber demons like it's nothing, and even the final boss stands no chance. So you may be wondering, what the heck is this thing even? Let's break it down. The Unmaker. Doom 64 never officially named this weapon. Internally it is referred as LASR, which most likely stands for laser or laser rifle. Where did the name Unmaker come from then? The original Doom's design document, named the Doom Bible, had a concept for a weapon described as a demon tech weapon called the Unmaker. Fans attached that name to the laser due to the similarities. Anyway, let's crunch some numbers. Damage, 10 to 80, in multiples of 10. Rate of fire, 225 shots per minute. Range, 4096 map units. Wait, range? Aren't the Unmaker lasers projectiles? Nope, the laser is just a visual effect. They act as projectiles that have a special rendering flag set to appear 3D-ish. In reality, the Unmaker fires an instant hit scan attack. It's basically a very powerful chain gun. Ammo type? Cells. And yes, yes, the Unmaker can be upgraded with demon keys, don't worry, we'll cover these upgraded stats too. Demon keys, or artifacts, are unique items found in Doom 64. Three exist in the base game, and each one can be found in a secret level. Acquiring one will upgrade your Unmaker. Be careful however, if you die, you'll permanently lose all the demon keys you possess. The first demon key can be found in Map 29, Outpost Omega. Picking up this demon key will display the following message. You have a feeling that it wasn't to be touched. The second demon key is found in Map 30, the Lair. Picking up this one will display the following message. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong in this world. And the third one can be found in map 31, in the void. Picking up this demon key will print the following message. It must do something. As mentioned earlier, possessing demon keys will upgrade your unmaker. The unmaker checks how many demon keys you own. So if you own one demon key, it gets upgraded from level 0 to level 1. It can be either demon key, orange, purple or cyan. Same when you possess two demon keys, and the Unmaker gets upgraded to level 2. You can either own orange and purple, orange and cyan, or purple and cyan. Doom 64 actually uses some silly bit masking on a lookup table to determine what combination of demon keys will affect your Unmaker. Level 3 requires all three demon keys, obviously. Doom 64 also added new line specials which require demon keys to work. Interacting with these in the final map will deactivate monster spawners. If you deactivate all three, the Mother Demon appears prematurely and you can immediately wreck her. Okay, so let's check out the stats of each upgraded version. Level 1 is pretty much the same as the unupgraded level 0, except that the time between shots is reduced from 8 ticks to 5 ticks. This changes the rate of fire to 360 shots per minute. Level 2 is where it gets more interesting. The time between shots is reduced from 5 ticks to 4 ticks, increasing its rate of fire to 450 shots per minute. It will now fire 2 lasers, effectively doubling its rate of fire to 900 shots per minute. Each laser is being shot with a 2 degree angular offset. A laser is still affected by auto aim, so they can individually target enemies above and below you. Just like the BFG traces pretty much. Level 3. I don't even have the words to describe how powerful the Unmaker gets at level 3. Well, it now fires 3 lasers per shot, raising the rate of fire to 1350 shots per minute. To put that into perspective, that's around 60,000 damage per minute on average, or around 1000 damage per second. You can take down a cyber demon in less than 4 seconds with this beast. Not to mention the insane rate of fire stunlocks the cyber demon most of the time, and it will not be able to retaliate much as long as you keep firing. Same with the mother demon. The spread pattern also gets more interesting. The first shot fires the leftmost and rightmost laser with a 3 degree angular offset. The second one is 6 degrees, the third one is 9 degrees, the fourth one is 12 degrees, and then goes back to 3. Just like level 2, each laser can individually auto-aim targets. So as you can see, the Unmaker can get really powerful. But is it really as crazy strong as people claim it to be? For example, 
does it outmax the BFG? The Doom 64 BFG is slightly different than the classic Doom one. For one, it's slower. This is because Doom 64's tick rate is 30, rather than 35 like a classic Doom. The timing for the trace is also 2 ticks earlier, but it's irrelevant because the tick rate is different anyway. Other than that, it works exactly the same, and hitting all 40 traces will deal about 3000 damage on average. The Doom 64 BFG's rate of fire is 45 shots per minute, but the average damage per minute is around 135,000. Whoa, that's more than twice as much as a fully upgraded Unmaker. But let's be realistic. When do you ever hold down the BFG trigger for a full minute in Doom 64? There aren't even enough demons to constantly hit with 40 tracers. Never mind the fact that after 15 shots, you've depleted your cells. It may do less damage on average, but you simply have more control of the Unmaker. Especially with the way Doom 64's combat is designed. No slaughter, mostly close quarter combat. Perfect to go full pew 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 pew. Let go of the trigger and continue pew pew. So, go find that Unmaker, seek those demon keys and go wild. You now know how it works. A huge special thanks to Eric194 for reverse engineering Doom 64's code so I could check how the Unmaker works. A link to the Doom 64 repository will be in the description if you want to check out his hard work. I would also like to thank my patrons and YouTube members for their support, and of course shoutouts to the lovely Turbo Nerds, 19 Day, Agonizing Oral Pain, Agonizing Rectal Pain, Andrew Dunai, Andrew Riss, Andrew Yukumchak, Andre Dicklin, aka Mock Hauser, Anthony Sicko, Art Cox, Bigs Make Me Coom, Bitcore, Bofu, Bandestorm, Kappa Bitch, Carlton Hart, Chief Kotrake, Choose Your Fights, Cyprian Lucen, Erwin Wolf, or Ho O, The Bell Straw, Francis T218, Jeffrey Catalan, John Guy, Joseph Shans, Katsune Teku, Kirill Gorobets, Matia Sippert, Max Payne 67, Mr. Charon, Neko Ninja Core, Nighthawk 71, Pete Peterson, Pix Drift, Prolapsed Bussy, PSX Mika, Pyro Shi, Quake Gamer 632, Raven King, Ryan Quinn, Riley, Robert Wakeley, Sam Ashton Palatina, Shane Larson, Shazarat, Space Duck, Spectre, Steak Jacobs, Stephen Bone, Stephen Halustic, Takokami, The Hellwalker, Thomas, Tim Goldberg, Timothy Collar, Turbine2K5, Who's Ace, and Zach Booker. Thank you all, see you in the next one.